and we make love beautifully. What's up guys? In this video I will be discussing one of the most uncomfortable, disgusting movies I have ever seen. The movie Shivers, directed by David Cronenberg, is about an apartment building that gets infected by parasites that turn their victim into love-seeking zombies. But it gets way weirder than that. Let's get spooky. The movie starts off by showing us a couple from Sweden move into an apartment building. We immediately cut to another room of the building where an older guy is wrestling a 19-year-old girl. The wrestling turns slightly erotic, and then this man, who turns out to be a professor, chokes the girl to death. He then pours some kind of acid into her stomach, and ends himself straight after. We then meet one of our main characters, Nick, who's living together with his girlfriend Janine. Nick for some reason decides to have a look in the dead girl's room, and immediately leaves. We see the girl getting taken away, and meet another main character, the apartment's doctor, Roger St. Luke. Dr. Roger is then seen talking with some scientist about a kind of parasite that can replace some of the human's organ, or some weird shit. We cut to Nick at work and see blood coming from his mouth. He goes home and decides it's a great moment to show his breakdancing moves. He heads to the bathroom to throw up, but instead of throwing up in the toilet, which is literally in front of him, he unleashes his blood fountain into the bathtub. As if that wasn't enough, Nick decides to give some innocent bypassers a little shower as well. We then get our first glimpse of the parasite, which looks like a crawling turd. We then meet Dr. Roger's colleague, Nurse Forsyth. You don't have to go. I'm not shy. Now don't be a tease, Brad. I'm still working, you know. Yes, I know. Nice one, old man. In the meanwhile, we see a lady in the laundry room, who's weirded out by a poop stain on the wall. Shortly after, she becomes our first seen victim of the parasites. We start seeing more poopy stains throughout the building, and start seeing more shitworms as well. These parasites apparently turn everyone that's infected very horny. Also, they're spread by the slightest case of sexual contact. We cut back to Nick, who all of a sudden has these bulges in his belly moving around. You and me are gonna be good friends. Good friends. Attaboy. Attaboy. He weirdly starts talking to them, but is immediately quiet when Janine enters. Why won't you let me help you? Bruh. We meet a friend of Janine named Betts, who also lives in the building. She decides to take a bath, and we see a turd worm entering the tub through the drain hole. The worm tries to find the easiest entry, and crawls in through her shitter. <coughs> Nurse Forsyn is cooking at her place, while suddenly her neighbor comes asking for sugar. She tells him kindly she's all out by stabbing him in the neck. <laughs> Dr. Roger comes and saves the day, and the nurse explains. I just, I opened right. the door, I was fixing your dinner, and he just grabbed me, and he just tried to kiss me. <laughs> right, just a kiss. A worm is seen attacking an elderly couple, but Gramps is not planning on sharing his missus, and beats the crap out of it. <laughs> we see another infected man, who is trying some riz moves on a woman who's just minding her business with her kid. It doesn't seem to be working, so he decides to brutally assault them. Back to Nick, who all of a sudden starts acting super horny. Hello, darling. I feel wonderful. Come here. Come and join me on the bed. Make love to me, Janine. You're my wife. Doc gets attacked. But can't aim for shit. Finally, he manages to hit the guy and get away. We then meet the man and the mom and daughter from the elevator, who attack a man that's just walking by. This scene is so weird and a great example why this movie is disgusting and uncomfortable. The little kid literally kisses the old man on the mouth. Like what the actual fuck. We then see the whole apartment slowly getting infected. 
Doc apparently is on the phone with a leprechaun. Who is there? Um, Mr. Gold. Uh, who is this? Uh, Dr. Oh, yes. Uh, let me talk to the nurse. Oh, but the nurse, she went away. I think she, she went to look for you, Doc. And the nurse with the weird name gets assaulted again. Doc Roger has to save the day once more. They nearly make it to the gate, but then this happens. I thought what they surely would be dead by this crash. But no, Doc Roger just walks it off like a champ. We move to Beth's place where she tries to convince Janine to make love to her. She weirdly agrees. And we see a turd worm entering Janine's throat. The scientist who threw the pickle goes to look for Doc Roger, but finds Nick, who now is giving birth to multiple parasites. The scientist unwillingly adopts one of them. The worm starts burning his skin and he tries to remove it. Nick has other plans and shoves the shit eel back into his mouth. The nurse by this point is infected and gives us a lecture about making love. And we make love beautiful. Doc Roger has no interest in her little fairy tale and gives her a big right hook. They run away and get followed by a horde of horny zombies. Doc manages to escape, for now. He finds Nick and kills him. He tries to escape the building and makes his way outside, only to be faced by an even bigger herd of parasite-invested love monkeys. Grandpa pushes him into the pool and he gets swarmed by everyone. Of all people, his colleague nurse spits a parasite into his throat, and Doc is infected too. The movie ends with everyone leaving the apartment building, and we hear a radio broadcast about the streets being flooded with sexual assault crimes. I looked up this movie on IMDb after watching it, and was surprised seeing all these positive reviews. People really seem to love the story the movie tells, and the off-putting scenes it shows us. I thought the movie was a bit dull, and very inappropriate most of the time. Examples of this are the intro where this old man is assaulting a 19-year-old girl, and near the end a grown man starts making out with his daughter after saying, I really think you'll like my daughter. A thing I did enjoy were the practical effects and some of the scenes were pretty funny. But I would say this movie didn't really age well, and I warn you to only watch this movie if you can handle scenes with pedophilia and incest. Also, this movie likes to show the audience boobs every five minutes or so. So that's my opinion on the movie Shivers. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.